What is biotensegrity? Could it be the new biomechanics? The core of biotensegrity is an appreciation that humans and all living organisms aren't static machines, but complex adaptive systems. This is in sharp contrast to conventional biomechanics, which relies on hard matter physics, envisioning the body as a machine. From atoms to the body as a whole, our internal structures are constantly adapting and managing the forces of pull or tension and push, compression. These forces are organized in a unique way, and this is visible in tensegrity structures. Let's unpack this. Let's take a closer look at this contrast between conventional biomechanics and biotensegrity. This is a tensegrity structure. It holds its shape by the interplay of forces between the struts that don't touch and the cables that hold them together. We can see that the string is under tension because it's taut. This network of continuous tension compresses the struts and at the same time keeps them apart from each other. We call this discontinuous compression. The forces of tension and compression are balanced and integrated in such a way that something unexpected emerges. An efficient structure that's self-contained, self-stabilizing, and self-adapting. A tensegrity. What was once a pile of struts and strings now has shape and volume. It responds to load in surprising ways. You will find that it's strong, resilient, and it doesn't fall apart. It doesn't rely on gravity to hold its own form. This, on the other hand, is a compression structure. Each block pushes down on all those below it with the interplay of gravity and the equal and opposite ground reaction force, pushing the blocks together in continuous compression. It's only stable when aligned in gravity. Tilt it or move it too much, and you're fighting gravity, it'll likely fall apart. Apply too much of a load, and it's subject to buckling. We are living, breathing, moving beings. Unlike a compression tower, we can move, we can dance, we can do a cartwheel without falling apart. From conception, through development, growth, and aging, we're constantly adapting and shaping ourselves, both moment to moment and over our lifetime. Machines require some other entity, something outside themselves, not just to turn them on and off, but to design, build, and maintain them. We were never parts put together like a machine. We are evolving as is all of nature. Each of us is a whole being, a complex system of cells reproducing and organizing themselves into specialized tissues, organs, and systems, all under the tensegrity forces that we described earlier. If we tend to zero in on parts rather than focusing on the body as a whole system, we might end up thinking about all these parts as separate, giving some more importance than others. We create false hierarchies. What if there are no permanent top-down relationships within living organisms, nor in life? All things matter and influence each other at the same time, regardless of their perceived importance. This is heterarchy. One thing might emerge as important, and then take a back seat in the next moment. So, could biotensegrity be the new biomechanics? we found that it can help us understand not just how the body functions, but also how it feels. Shifting the lens through which we view living organisms has the potential to change everything. How would you move? How would you feel if you let go of the idea that you need to fight gravity? What if instead you notice the tensegral properties that you already embody? Things like efficiency, what would you discover if you shifted your focus from parts in a hierarchy to your whole body, where everything matters equally? Studying biotensegrity requires us to make a paradigm shift. We have found that when we come to understand it, the lens through which we see the world changes. We've changed the relationship that we have with ourselves, our bodies, each other, and in fact, all of nature. What do you think?